everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome to my channel. If you've not been here before, it's where I talk about Twin Flame process, Twin Flame union, Twin Flame energy. This reading is for February. It's going to be an energetic reading to see what Twin Flames need to know about in February, what they might experience in the process collectively, how we're doing, <laughs> where we're at anything else so right so first thing they're showing me is an owl and this owl is sitting on it looks like an, a light like a lightsaber almost like out of Star Wars so it's wisdom in regard to light is what we're looking at um, achieving this month so direct experiences in relation to energy and uh, in deciphering energy so you're going to be asked to look show me a pencil to show me somebody writing something down lessons in understanding what energy you're dealing with and they're also showing me this pencils turning into like a fountain pen like an old-fashioned fountain pen so it's going to be clearing away um, history basically history your history so on this journey you go from dark experience to light experience so your process your twin flame process is you're emerging from dark spectrum energy into light so you become in the light light being a representation of source energy and dark being a representation of thought consciousness. Um, dark is the ego, light is higher self. So it's emerging from e ego consciousness into higher consciousness, basically. And in that, every experience that you have as you go through the process, like from when you're born, probably, most people, is going to be an experience in deciphering energy and coming into your authenticity around that energy so your authenticity is your is your um, authentic vibration so it's the vibration of source because you're here on a journey so you're coming from source which is higher energy higher consciousness light energy manifested into the physical realm which is a mixture of light and dark that's the ma masculine is the dark the highest energy is the light and then your process of evolution, which is tied to your process through the phys your physical life, and in that physical life, bringing to you aspects of masculine, aspects of feminine, so aspects of source, aspects of ego. And really, when you begin the process and you start to move through your life, you're not in awareness of what energy is. You're not in awareness that things are coming from ego or from source. You're not in awareness that those things that come from ego or source are coming through people. So you're not, you're not reading people as energy, you're just seeing them as people. So in that, there's a lot of um, uh, disruption inside how you operate. So there's a lot of disruption in your vibration. So it means that you don't feel good because you're reacting to everything around you rather than knowing that it's coming to you from you. <laughs> your process as you move through is emerging into more light so that means that you are disintegrating the dark from outside of yourself so you're eliminating the negative experiences that come to you and um, uh, the more you eliminate the more you go through the process the more you eliminate and as you do that you come into more light inside of yourself so your vibration grows stronger and you reflect out what source is and in that you grow the light inside of you and that's what light work is you grow the light inside of you true light from source higher empathy basically and as that pushes through your physical body and emanates from who you are you become an empowered empath so you're coming from a, a start as a disempowered empath you're then moving through being a wounded empath because it's all coming at you from outside of you wounding you whether it's in people situations events whatever locations and then you're moving as you push through your process bringing you into more light and you push in out into more light, so you bring and from that non-fearful vibration, stronger vibration, uh, you're bringing to you more high-level events, more light events. You're still going to have the dark coming to you until you've eliminated them all at the end of the process. If you're not at the end of the process, you're still going to be eliminating them. 
in different ways. But as you move through, you're growing that light inside of you, becoming an empowered empath, and that light pushes out around you. It becomes more than a boundary. So you might have had to, at some point along your route, develop boundaries that come from the ego. These are like asserting yourself. These are like speaking out, saying what you'll have and what you won't have in your life, pushing outwards in that kind of very verbal, manifested way, uh, through willpower, through ego, through con thought consciousness, and having to have boundaries like that. If you're an empath, you feel everything. So even in that act of having to have a boundary and create a boundary, you might even feel that you don't like that because it's not a natural state of being for an empath to be in. They want to be open-hearted. They want to feel free to love. They don't want to be dealing with dark energy because it hurts them. It hurts them, but they don't like hurting other people, so they don't like setting boundaries. Um, but you might have had to do that at some point along the line. But then as you move through, your light grows inside of you. It becomes an automatic boundary. So it's like as your vibration improves, you're pushing outwards, and the dark just doesn't come near you anymore. So there's less interaction with dark energy, less interaction with narcissists, less interaction with dark locations, dark situations and events, until at the end of the process, when we're looking at end of the process, we're looking at before a physical reunion with the other twin, um, at that point of the process, you emerge into full light. From there, the feminine, so we'll get to this month in a minute, right, but the feminine has to grow the heart energy, that is the empowered empathy, Feminine operates from the heart, the equivalent of the heart, so they have to grow in self-love. So that empathy has to be self-directed at first, and you have to grow self-love, and therefore you grow your heart energy, and you're going to manifest through that. That light is in the heart. You manifest through that, so your process becomes lighter and lighter. The masculine operates from the head, which is the fear spectrum, the worry. So you've got the feminine in the heart, the masculine in the head. The feminine being asked to grow the heart, come into self-love, so direct, self-directed empathy to start with. And this is this location, the, the work, the doing that inside the self is about making that space so the masculine can arrive in that space as well. Because the masculine operates from thought consciousness, operates in the head. In fact, like in there, like you can see that inside the head as like cogs and wheels, like inside a like a motor, it's like a program, <laughs> it's a program, it's programming, it's like inside a computer or something, and they're like in there, and they're eliminating that programming, but if you think about the inside of a computer, and what's inside of there in terms of technology, there's a lot in there, isn't there, so the, there's a lot for them to delete, a lot of programming for them to delete, but it's like birthing, right, the feminine gets the heart ready, this is the birthing stool, whatever, the, the water birthing tank, whatever you want to call it. And the masculine, once he's deleted the programming in the head, will able to be birthed through the heart energy that the feminine creates. So two separate jobs for the masculine and feminine. One twin working from masculine perspective, so they're working through the head. One operating from feminine perspective, they're working through the heart. But both contain masculine and feminine. So at times that's why sometimes the feminine will take on board the masculine. So they'll start to operate from the head. So um, they'll start to work in the head and it'll be deleting programming in the head through the feminine because they still, and sometimes the masculine will operate through the heart. But predominantly the job, opening the heart is feminine and deleting the programming is masculine. So, because it's an insider job, right? And feminine is heart and masculine is programming. So it's got to be an insider job for both of those to start with predominantly because it's a natural position for it to be. So this month, what they're talking about is the, the feminine being asked to be in the heart more and grow the heart energy. So really being self-directed, self-focused. And in terms of those boundaries that you might have had to create once in your life through even maybe aggression or putting your foot down. Um, and it might have like, you know, you feel it in your energy body because you're an empath. So you even feel your own anger or your own like <laughs> uh, assertiveness that like, oh, like it's in a key territory, right? Um, but it's kind of like, I feel this month it's moving from beyond that. But in doing that, right, in achieving that understanding and that way of operating. So again, heart, we've got an operating mechanism around the heart, right? 
um, energetically. So it's achieving a new operating mechanism around the heart, which is moving from the the willed process. You talk, heard me talk before about self-willed, right? The feminine self-willed process, and that is at some points on this process very, very important in using that ego to come into, to own oneself. Now it's moving into the territory of um, owning the empathy. So it's self-directed empathy and it's growing the heart energy. So it's kind of like moving beyond that ego in the feminine into achieving a boundary through just being emanating light, true light. Okay, so um, so the work this month for the feminine, which not surprising because it's always for the feminine because the feminine creates. The masculine is just deleting as we create. So they, they uh, destroy and we create. So your twin working from the masculine perspective will always be behind in the process, the feminine, as they delete what is getting rid of and you're creating what you're go moving into, the energies that you're moving into. So this month, in terms of uh, the feminine creating the heart, heart area, it's like you're nesting. Think about that, it's like nesting. So you might feel like... Um, you want to just be on your own. You might feel like you want to shut the world out. They're showing me like you're holding the teddy bear as well. So it's like that inner child work. Like going just back to like um, being a kid and just like not having to think about anything. Not wanting to worry about anything. Not wanting to be involved in anything icky in the, in the um, mental world. You know, not having to deal with, with anything in the mental world. So you might feel that that's a lot of the month is like that. And if you're feeling that, if you feel that, then you have to go towards your feeling. Don't fight your feeling, because your feeling is where the heart is. So you've always got to go towards that. So just find your way around that by, you know, whatever you need to do. If you need to create that space for yourself, putting on the autoresponder on your email. Sometimes that's what I do if I feel that need. Or... um. You're putting on your answer phone or drawing the curtains, <laughs> not answering the door, taking some time off sick if you feel like it, if you're going into work and you can do that, or personal days, whatever you, if you feel you need it, then go with what your feeling is. That's the way for you to be, um, well, always to be going, but particularly this month because it's like you're getting the nest ready and, um, As we delete these programs, which is operating from masculine perspective, so you know the twin flame, the reasons for twin flame existing, because we talked about it before, is about the emergence into the light for the whole of humanity. So it's about the return to source for the whole of humanity. So for every li living human to be returned to their authentic connection to source, which is operating vibrationally from an empathic state. In doing that, in moving through the process that twin flames come here for, they are deleting everything around them that is of a negative energy by their interaction with it. So that's why you bring the dark event situations people to you. Um, it's for you to be in the light around that. And by you being in the light around it, it, it deletes that. So, right, we've got a new journey coming up the fall. Emotions, Seven of Cups, lessons around emotions, Sevens is lessons, the moon, what's unconscious in the moon, what are you not, what's hidden, Two of Cups, Twin Flames, this is the reflection of light, and relationship, Ten of Cups, completion of our relationships, and chariot, masculine and feminine, again it's the seven, so it's lessons in masculine, dark, feminine, light, Communications, Ace of Swords, around what's hidden, the unconscious, and healing in the Knight of Pentacles, healing emotions, and what we've got here, bringing the masculine into the heart. We've got the King of Cups, which is the, the heart of the masculine. So it's the masculine's um, mastery of the heart, but it can't come without the feminine's mastery of the heart. So that's got to be the first on the agenda, and clarity in the Knight of Swords. So this is finding clarity in terms of relationship and completion in the Ten as well. So we're going to have lessons coming in this month in February. Um, heading towards completion 
understandings around relationship and what's hidden so what lies beneath and in communications what's lying beneath because it's here the reflection of the light which is a twin your twin flame connection is an authentic connection to source so in each twin we have an empathic state of being each twin is op is an open-hearted energy like they said when you come through the process you are dealing in dark energy so it's almost like you see those events that come into your life and the people that come into your life early on in your process you could see that you're share dealing or dealing in stocks and shares in dark energy because you take them on board you have interactions with them you might have them in your life for a while for however long and then you delete them and you get rid of them or you just move on to better stock more light energy right your twin flame, as they come into your process, wherever that is along the line, you are guided to see the source that lies within them. So aspects of dark will appear through twin flame connections in terms of cording from history. So you're going to have attitudes, programs, behaviors that might come from your twin. We call them the sharp edges that are programming they've received through family, society, government, history that they are displaying. So this is the programming they will delete that comes from the ego. But your recognition of source in them is your recognition of the light in them and the true light that exists with them, in them, that, that is their state of empathy. So your twin flame process is about recognizing light all the way through. This month for twin flames, the, pre, the, the lessons are going to be in recognizing what is energy outside of yourself. So where it, what is it? Uh, it's appearing as, but what is it really? What lies beneath the communication? So you're going to have lessons coming in around what is an empath? What does that feel like? Because this is feelings, lessons around feelings and healing, how you feel. And what does it feel to encounter an empath? When you encounter an empath, it doesn't feel like anything. Because empaths are cleared energy, clarity. Right, they're the energy of source, which is clarity. So they're they're not, a, you don't feel anything. They don't trigger you. They don't cord you. Like we say, only with a twin, with the sharp edges, and that can be with other twins as well, because we're all here to delete that programming. So yeah, other twins trigger, but we know that. Right, <laughs> this is like just other people that you might encounter in everyday life: mailman, postman, milkman, people walking past you in the street people that you're having to interact with in shops, things like this on a daily basis, because we've got loads of these everyday lessons coming up in the sevens of how do you feel. Healing what is the emotional level inside of you. So when they're showing you being in the heart and expanding into the heart, what has to happen in the heart is it has to be healed. So it has to feel good. You have to feel good in your heart the whole time. So there can't be any like little uh, kind of twitchy nuss in the heart or feeling like you're closing down or shutting off or getting small. When you encounter another empath, it's open energy. Source is openness, it's freedom, it's non-judgment. So you literally don't, you're not triggered and you don't feel anything at all. And it's like uh, you don't shut your heart down. When you, when you encounter what is dark energy coming at you through another human being, you're going to feel it. So you'll feel it in somewhere in your body. We're talking about heart this month. So how does it feel in your heart for you to, when you encounter somebody who's operating from thought consciousness and it feels like you're shutting down, it feels like you're being made small, it feels like you're running, like losing yourself, it feels like you're not counting on yourself, like you're not feeling you're important, it feels like you're wrong, like you're bad, like somebody's uh, making you feel like you're not, you don't, you're not of value, you're not of value. Right, so that's how it feels when you encounter dark energy. So the lessons here, masculine and feminine, that was going to be, these are big lessons. It's going to be around what is an empath and what is um, a narcissist. And um, as we move through this process as well, this twin flame process, you're going from darker energy to lighter energy. So at the dark end of the spectrum, you're going to be manifesting around you what is a clear light, Sign seal delivered, <laughs> narcissist. So, you know, it's you, narcissists can be seen for what they are when they're really visible. Like, if they're really nasty people, uh, nasty, selfish, mean, horrid, 
people that you encounter, hurtful people. So it's really easy to see that that's a narcissist and that's dark energy and that's cording you into making feel feel small, right? And you overcome that in your process. And this is where you have to put, put up those boundaries from the ego and be like, no, because I see what you are and I'm not having it around me and move away from that, right? But then as you move into the light and you become the light and you're growing that through your heart and you're having, you're growing what is openness so that you will become an empowered empath and you'll be able to be open and you'll be able to work from that energy and with like in a massive way, in a physical way. So you'll be able to go out into the world as a person and operate as an empath without any fear of abuse, basically, is the end of the personal story of the feminine on this journey. And as you move further along that spectrum, what you're going to be bringing to yourself is hidden dark energy. So in recognizing this month, how what everything makes you feel, right? So what does false light look like? Because false light is what is a hidden narcissist. So that's um, the lessons that are going to be coming to you this month. So you're going to have incidences of encounters with what is hidden dark energy, energy masquerading as light. So we have the spiritual narcissist. Spiritual narcissist. Narcissists pontificate. Pontificate means they espouse um, what is false light coming from them. And in how they do that, they are um, a corruption of what is light and they trigger you into feeling bad. Because so it's how they operate, it's what they do, it's what you end up as. You end up feeling small, hidden in the corner, cowering away, feeling like you've been kicked around, but feeling like you can't be stand up for yourself in relation to that because they are the light. So it's like they're just like pinning you down in this... Um, place where you're never going to feel good and overshadowing your light. What they do is they take your light and they wear it as a, as a mask and they reflect it back to you. There's no empathy. So they're stone cold, uh, unemotional in every way and they don't, um, there's nothing there that can absorb your feelings and read your feelings and therefore acknowledge your feelings or care about your feelings, just like any old narcissist. So just know that, that they do not absorb your energy. Like empaths absorb everything. They can feel everyone's, how people feel, you know. They can feel other people's wounding like it's their own. So much at the stage of being a wounded empath yourself that it's almost so painful to be around people or painful to be in crowded rooms and painful to be, doing, you know, interacting with people in any way. But as you grow into the process and you grow into this, the empowered empath, you're still going to bring yourself lessons in recognizing what is not true empathy. And um, spiritual narcissism also um, how, it, how it operates. Let's look at how it operates. So what you might be dealing with, lessons. So what do they do? They use word salad. So it operates from thought consciousness. Spiritual narcissism operates from thought consciousness. So it's operating from intellect. So it will use word salad. So it will use um, really high level words and terminology to make you think that it's the light. So it will speak in a way that is about source, that will make you think that it is source, right? So um, it, might talk about the, it might talk about the reflection of source. Um, but it won't tell you that you are the reflection of source in who you are right now, right here and right now. It'll tell you that everything is a reflection of source and that you have to stop focusing on yourself and focus on everything else that's a reflection of source outside of yourself. Um, so a hide behind words, intellectual words, that will throw out in a confused manner, word salad, which will confuse you into not understanding what it's talking about. Um, it does, it works in a pattern, so it will throw out something that's a hook, that will get you hooked on listening to it, it will then throw out a bit of word salad that will confuse you and into like, um, uh, what do they call it, um, cognitive dissonance, right, and then it will make you feel bad about yourself, but spiritual narcissism will make you feel bad about yourself in a really underhand way in a really sneaky way, in a really creeping up underneath you and just 
inst installing it into you, trying to install into you its program in a, by tampering with your energy body when you're, when you're not looking at it. So um, it will insinuate, it won't outright say it, it will insinuate that you're not all that you are. It will insinuate that you are the dark because it's going to reflect back at you what it is because it, narcissists take your light and they turn it into a mask and they push their dark onto you to tell you you're the dark so that it can commit a role reversal so they can take your they take you and they make it them they take your energy and they turn it into their energy and that's how they take your fuel so look out for that in the energy of the spiritual narcissist and look out for um, them hiding their hiding it behind false light so Communications can come with things like lots of hearts on, lots of, um, uh, you know, kisses at the bottom is a very uh, symptomatic of a um, narcissism because they're hiding behind all that kind of outpouring of affection. Of course, empaths do it as well. So that's why, but that's why it's so hidden. It can be so hidden because they'll take that on board and they'll do it themselves. It's about this month is learning to read the energy of what's what. Learning to read the energy of what is false light coming towards you. So you've got to read between the lines of communication, what is hidden in communication. And you've got to bring it back to yourself and you've got to focus on your feeling good. So how is that communication making you feel? Narcissistic communication makes you feel bad. It doesn't matter what they're saying so much, it's how it makes you feel. Like I say, they can be saying what looks on the surface as something very, very spiritual, very like they know their stuff, very like they're um, in the light, but it's how it makes you feel that counts. So if they're communicating with you and you're feeling less than, then you need to look at that energy that you're dealing with in that person and reread it and come to a better understanding. You need to forgive yourself, right? Because the empath has a tendency that when they feel bad about how they're being made to feel by an interaction with another person, that they then feel guilty for wanting to feel good. So you've got to remember, if you're being made to feel bad and you're feeling guilty about wanting to feel good instead, then don't feel guilty about wanting to feel good. Push away whatever it is that's making you feel bad and come back to feeling good for yourself because that is your point of resolution on this journey. And this is how you grow the heart energy. If narcissists is coming towards you and they're making you close down your heart, you're not in the right place for growing the, building the nest for the masculine return to heart, which is what they're talking about here. New journey, the full masculine coming into the heart. So, um, and clarity. So learn to read the energy, not the person, not what's on the top of the person, not what their face looks like, not what they're wearing, not the jingly jangly jewelry or anything like that. But what energy do you pick up from them? Because at the end of this process, what you're coming into is being a, a, vibrational understanding so you are going to be an understanding of what is in everybody else's uh, physical body what is their vibration it's about not acting on it necessarily but just recognizing it and having your own aha moment over what this is and that end of the process for the feminine is definitely not acting on anything because that's per further back down the process where you're instilling this understanding of boundaries that comes from the ego, ego first, higher consciousness later, right? And you will in that time have to act and do in relation to other people and put your foot down and push them away and all that kind of stuff. This is about instilling the program of operating for more light. So going more into your own heart, directing your empathy at yourself, loving yourself more in relation to what you're hearing, pushing it away energetically, growing your light inside and pushing it away energetically is where it's all about this month. Rather than even, you see, the other thing that happens, when you go close down your heart because you're in relation with someone who is false light, you go small, you go, where do you go if you're not in the heart? You go into your head. And then you start to go into the head and all these cogs and wheels and all this mechanism starts turning again. That's all the worry and the stress, which is where the masculine is trying to clear it. And you're up there as well. And they're trying to clear that. And you're in there. So it's not getting cleared. And you're not making the nest in the heart, which is your self-love. So you, 
you, you're going to have to get back into the heart basically that's where you need to go that's where you need to be so just view it like that as well let the masculine take care of what goes on in the head let them deal with that programming and delete that and you just focus on being in the heart and finding more let go and more release of what's in the head right so in terms of reading energy that's coming towards you in a person is it dark which is pretty easy to see once you know what it is and we all go through so much of that you it's easy isn't it to read that once you get so far um, and you know you can say this about it as well if it you, you take like maybe five other things does it look like it does it feel like it <laughs> does it smell like it does it taste like it and you know just look at the whole what you're getting from that person and um, then go by what you're getting don't doubt yourself don't doubt your feeling right go with your feeling above everything else because if you don't go with your feeling and what's in your heart you will go into the head and you will start wondering about it and second guessing it and that's the cording they cord you through the head they make you think about them all the time they make you worrying about them they make you worry if you're making the right decision in eliminating them from your life and if you're not eliminating them from your brain they've got you corded and then you're in that energy all the time and you're in the masculine where you don't want to be so you've got to deal with them by recognizing the energy as best you can eliminate according to how you feel and then release from the head and come back to your heart again and focus on yourself so that's what it's all about this month for the feminine energy moving forward see that will move the energy forward it will keep the energy moving clarity knight of swords underneath success in the vibration you're feeling good is your location you know that because they said it before millions of times the location for physical reunion is the vibration and it's a healthy vibration around self-love in the feminine that is the vibration the fool and then we've got joy and happiness so again coming back to that inner child stuff they're talking about earlier you have a right to be in your inner child so don't ever for a minute think you don't have a right to happiness you don't have a right you have a right to feel good all the time you have a right to be you and exactly who you are you don't have to be anything else to anybody else they have to be who they like, want to be and who they like and you be who you want to be and who you like yourself being and like yourself no matter what whatever you're like all right so that's what it's about for the feminine it's about love for the self and you know have a dance around the room with yourself if you're in if you're locked up with your teddy bear have a dance around the room with yourself skip and jump and you know enjoy yourself treat yourself do naughty things remember when you were a kid and it's like oh I want that second bit of chocolate but an adult will say oh you can't have that but if this month maybe treat yourself and do that naughty thing and then laugh about it with yourself you know whatever it is or that other glass of wine or if it feels good if it feels good do it King of Cups because that's getting into the heart energy energy <laughs> ace of wands so that's creating the heart energy in the masculine if you enjoy yourself and focus on your feeling good they will move into the heart area so instead of seeing them as a person you've got to see them as a row of chakras so the one that you're connected to see their energy body instead of the person on the outside because you're working with energy and you're not working with a person when you look at the person on the outside all you're going to see is maybe sometimes you won't even see anything because you won't know what's going on and sometimes when you're seeing them in social media or Facebook or whatever or hearing about them from other people in the physical dimension you'll only hear things that you don't want to hear or see things that you don't want to see that are going to make you worry and going to make you stress so you have to see them not as a physical entity but as an energy body and see them and where they are so if in the physical world what's going on with them you don't like the look of it know they're in the head and know they're restricting themselves and they're still clearing the mental programming that comes from the thought consciousness of the masculine energy right and instead of focusing on that and you being at loggerheads and worrying about them and the energy not moving anywhere move their energy by you going down to your heart and focusing in your heart and you'll bring them into their heart your energy connected through your energy body so your hearts are connected your minds are connected everything's connected so move them into the heart create the right energy the moon what's hidden happiness completion is happiness 
So whatever comes around you that's giving you the, um, that's trying to like uh, take you away from yourself, that's hiding their agenda, um, that which is feeding off you. Narcissists, spiritual narcissists, they feed off you. They take your good feeling and they make it their own. If they're making you feel bad, it's making them feel good. So don't let that happen. Take your feeling good back from them. Shut the face in their door, metaphorically and literally. <laughs> and just come back to yourself and know that you've done the right thing. And the right thing is coming back to you and loving you more. And not focusing on them. Um, communication, wisdom around communication. So that is the wisdom. That's all you need to know. Uh, you know, it's like... Just done with, right? <laughs> done with. Move on. Don't think about them. Like I say, if you think about them, they've still got you. Lessons around feeling. And what they'll ha happen as well, if you think about them and they've still got you, is like your vibration won't m magnify. Your heart energy won't magnify because they just keep you feeling mad about what they've put you through, right? And it's that feeling of being like, mm inside you that again it's not in the heart so you've got to let go of them you've got to be like right done you're gone out and then skip around and be, find joy again inside yourself emotions vibration of the masculine so remember your focus here is a vibration it's not just your vibration it's a masculine vibration but you've got the work of creating the vibration inside of them with all these lessons that come in that are all about what is the energy behind the thing that's coming up in the physical world, not what is the thing in the physical world. Even when you've got an incident coming in in the physical world, and it could like, look like something that really needs your attention in the physical world, something that you have to be really serious about, you know, and really like um, serious and uh, kind of thoughtful and um, really like dwell on and put a lot of your thought into and your time and attention to and even that is a really that really serious energy is not the great vibration of heart energy so just look at everything that you deal with in your physical world this month and where your vibrations at you know things clear on this journey I'll give you one example before I move on so I've got a leaking roof right and uh uh <laughs> If you had, if I was didn't know this, <laughs> I would be looking at that leaking roof, and I'd be worrying like hell. Like ten years ago, if I'd had that leaking roof, I'd be worrying, stressing, thinking about it all the time. It's getting several different opinions, reading online about it, all this kind of stuff. Um, I am not doing anything about my roof, and it's really funny because I, I've already had two interactions this month that have been this lesson. Really, my neighbour came round, and he's does roofs that's what he does and he had to look at it and I and I said to him so what what would you do then and he said I'll just leave it <laughs> and he's an empath so uh, I get nothing you know there's nothing there in the communication with him that would signify that he's trying to cord me in any way it's just really easy and he just matter of fact and tells me what is and he said what the he said what source would say leave it alone just leave it, for, leave it for a year, see what happens, and he fixes roofs, you know, so um, it's kind of like that, right, so everything's a lesson in how are you going to operate, and what is coming to you, and what is a higher energy, and how do you relate to everything around you in the physical world, and I know I did get someone to look at the roof, but then he does live only next door, so, <laughs> um, so that kind of thing, right, you've got to, and now I've just let go of it, and now I'm like, I laugh about it, me and the me and the house are laughing at the roof because remember your house is where you live they're part of your vibration you've manifested them they're there they're part of your experience in that way okay two of cups what we've got there completion physical world so we could go beyond here so the completion in the physical world of the twin flame process is you the feminine moving into the heart, magnifying from the heart, becoming source energy from the heart, becoming a really strong representation of source in a human body, which means that you are an empowered empath. So much so that you're able to be returned to self and operate from empathy without being worried about people 
pushing into your boundaries because your light is so strong that it will just push people away that are of the dark. In fact, it will push them away so hard, the dark won't even come near you. But all through the process, you're going through lessons in becoming that. So what you bring to you is going to be that. So at first you'll bring the really, really dark and then it'll get lesser and it'll get lesser and it'll get lesser until you bring in the spiritual narcissists. What are the fake light? So they're dark masquerading as light, which is why they're talking about spiritual narcissists this month. And, um, and then uh, following your process and your emergence into the light and operating from empathic energy, then you have um, reunion, physical reunion. But remember, you'll both be operating from that energy, so you'll be a force to be reckoned with. And you will move out into the physical world, and you will operate from that empathic energy. You'll fight for justice in some way. You will fight for rights, human rights. You will fight against slavery, human slavery, modern slavery. You will fight against um, everything that's a lie that's dark in the, in the collective, in the human collective. You'll fight against that in a very physical way beneficial way for the whole of humanity so there is a return to physical and that's what comes after it more work to be done basically so let go of all the fear eight of swords follow guidance follow the spirit inside you follow your feeling good that is there isn't anything else see spiritual narcissism would have you think that spirituality is about something outside of yourself it will have you think it's about focusing on what's outside of yourself and it will not have you look at yourself at all. It will not have you focus on how you feel at all. It's exactly the person that you met 20 years ago that was an outright narcissist. It's just hiding more. It's just hiding better. And it's going to do the same thing to you that that narcissist did years ago if you let it. It's going to make you feel small. It's going to turn you back into a small crying child that sits in the corner of the room with the door shut, scared of the parent that's banging on the door and shouting at them. It'll turn you back into that if it can. So that's exactly how you deal with it. You get away from it and you block it out and you don't think about it again. Reunion, six of cups. Anything else here? And head over heart. Because they, the false light will take you away from your feeling good in whatever way they can, hiding it under bushels of pontification, espousing spiritual um, irrelevances. Because anything that isn't about your feeling good is irrelevant. Because spirituality in a physical format is your vibration inside of you and you're feeling good. So nothing else is spirituality. It's not about anything else. It's about you in your lifetime and not about anything outside of yourself and when you are returned to this form and you're out in the physical world working again you won't be working from a, a spiritual perspective I never pick up that with these twin flame um, unions it's always about working in a very physical perspective it's about working in a um, like almost a kind of mundane way you know like um, dealing with systems, writing letters, uh, forming groups, creating causes, you know, uh, petitions, all that kind of stuff, changing systems. So, a lot of that. All right, so I think that's it in terms of what they want to say for this month. You might have noticed it already, justice coming out there. Um, roads forward, making choices, physical manifestation of your twin, and reaching out, something coming into the physical world, through all the confusion, so yeah, I mean, narcissists, they create confusion, it's the confusion they create inside of you, and you thinking you're bad when you're good, you know, you thinking you're wrong when you're right, you thinking you're a terrible person because, because of what they're telling you, um, you're thinking that you don't know anything and they're telling you they know everything. They're telling you they are God. They were the voice of God, right? And you don't know anything about that. So you better listen to them and they're going to make you feel bad whilst they do it. And then they're going to hook you in and they're going to keep you there for as long as they can, taking your energy. Um, 
the vibration of the twin fighting dark coming into the light so that's the last thing they said uh, exiting the battle of the dark and the light so everything here that we're going through is always a battle between dark and light and this month spotlight on the spiritual narcissist spotlight on the empath spotlight on reading energy that lies behind the whatever the human is because we all look the same pretty much but the energy is what we are it's not the framework all right. Lots of love. Take care. Bye.